Good afternoon or good morning, Agribusiness Council members. Good to be talking to you again this year. Just want to run through a few of the highlights of the 2014 uh, state budget as, as it relates to agriculture in our state. And just a few of the things that the governor placed in the budget and some of the things we've gone in and modified or changed just a little bit. Starting off, of course, probably first, since it kind of, kind of comes first in the budget, it's dealing with the Department of Education and Ag Education. They've been recommended 3% cut, and the House has gone back and filled part of that cut back in, so now it's just a net 1.5% cut. And basically, that'll be spread throughout the program there. Going on to the Department of Ag, there are some slight cuts there that, that Commissioner Black and his folks have been able to find some operating efficiencies and combine some positions, so it's allowed us to make a few savings there, plus then uh, putting the money in for the gate card program in the coming year. Uh, originally, there had been about 750000 that had been allocated for that. Commissioner Black came back with a figure of about five fifty, dollars and he feels like he can do the program for so made that one little change there. Probably some of the more significant changes came as it, as it relates to the uh, University of Georgia and the B budget, or B unit budget, as it deals with ag extension and, and research. What we were able to do there, there had been some pretty dramatic cuts, about 10% cuts there in uh, cooperative extension, ag research, and then dealing with forestry extension and forestry research. We were able to soften those cuts to take them down to about a seven, seven and a half, seven and three quarter percent cut instead of a full 10% cut. Also within that, we uh, second year in the row that we've gone back in and added uh, four research positions back into the budget that uh, we felt were necessary. Last year we had a, a peach and blueberry specialist position, thinking we'd be able to find somebody that could do both. After going through the process of trying to find someone, it became pretty apparent that we're not going to be able to find a, a specialist that could do both. So the, the blueberry folks have been able to find someone in contract services with them. Peach growers came back to us and needed some additional funds in to be able to hire a peach specialist, so we put those funds in. We also started the funding for the director at the Food Pick Center down at uh, Griffin at the UJ campus down there as it deals with food commercialization here in the state. We've, of course, put the bond money in last year to build that center. It'll be up and online, and, and after talking with Dean Angle, we need somebody in place there January 1 of 2014, so we've provided those funds. Also, if, have gone back in and added back a research position dealing with uh, dairy stress down in Tifton to replace Joe West's position down there where he was doing that research before, added the funding in for that. Then, uh, after speaking with the cattlemen and several cattle folks across the state, realized that of course, with the passing of Ted Dyer up at Calhoun at the bull test station up there last year, that that was an essential position that needed to be refilled there. So we've also added the funds back in for that position as well. Uh, rolling forward, looking into the bonds, um, we were able to, again this year, do two and a half million on the house side uh, for cabins at Rock Eagle. And then about another $1.8 million for improvements at the uh, FFA, FCCLA camps, uh, both at uh, Covington and Camp John Hope. Thank you. Thank you for what you do for providing food and fiber across our state and backing up the number one industry in the state of Georgia, of course, agriculture and agribusiness. And quite honestly, I, I, I made the comment to someone the other day that agriculture had been the one bright spot throughout this whole recession and downturn because it's really the backbone of our state as we all know and understand. And it's what kept the recession from being any worse here in Georgia than what it actually was. But thank you. God bless you.